hi guys my name is jasmine and welcome back to my channel long time no see but here i am i'm back making youtube videos and i'm so excited to be today i just showed you guys how i did this really pretty yellow spring makeup look so if you want to see how i created this look please keep on watching please make sure you give this video a like leave a comment about this look down below and also make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you don't miss another video from me so if you want to see how i created this look then please keep on watching okay so I know it's been a minute since you've seen this face so some things have changed about my makeup so I'll just show you I have changed how I do my eyebrows so I figured I would just show you in my first video back how I do them so I've actually made them a lot thinner than usual I remember I used to like this really thick soap brow type of look i still kind of like the soap brow type of look but i like my eyebrows a lot thinner now so i'm just going to use some brow gel this is the nyx control freak brow gel it's okay like i feel like not many many brow gels like are that outstanding to me but i just like to put this through my brows and just brush upwards I don't know if y'all can even tell that my eyebrows look different because I kind of do the same thing as like my eyebrow routine that I have up on my channel. It's kind of like the same technique but I feel like it looks a lot different. I feel like it does. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't but I know everybody's really into thick bushy brows now and honestly I was too. But even these are still, I don't know, they're not super thin, but they're not as thick as they were. So I pretty much just wait for the brow gel to dry down, basically. And I like to just press my brows in. I don't really feel the need to use got to be anymore, because I just don't feel like it. And sometimes it can get kind of messy, and I'm not, I'm not about that. And recently, I just got this new eyebrow pencil in PR from House Labs. This is the The Edge Precision Brow Pencil. She looks like this. And I'm using the shade um, Brown Black. And it's a really nice, thin brow pencil. I love a thin brow pencil. And all I do is I line the bottom. I have a feeling this is really similar to my last brow routine but again since I feel they're different I'm gonna still show you anyway and then next what I do is I actually I've added this to my brow routine this is the NYX lift and snatch brow tint pen in the shade espresso she looks like this i know anastasia has a brow pen but it's quite expensive so i just got the next one instead and i really really like it and i don't fill in the um place i don't fill in my brows with the brow pencil i will basically just use the brow pen and just create hair like strokes i'll show you what i mean After I have finished filling in my brows, I just conceal underneath. I don't conceal over the top. So this is how we're looking. It actually turned out pretty good today. But yeah, that's basically all I do for my brows. Now, I don't know how much different that is from when I showed you them before. But yeah, I can't, I can't talk and do this. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, and then to get the boring stuff out of the way, I primed my eyes. I just used the Essence Eye Heart Stage Eyeshadow Primer. So for our eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the Glam Light Cake Palette. She looks like this. I absolutely love this palette. And I'm thinking I want to do a really simple yellow springtime makeup look inspired by my little yellow shirt right here. It's been really nice outside lately and it's like, okay, the weather is warming back up, thank god. So, I want to do a really nice springtime makeup look. I'm going to start with the shade Chocolate down here. This is just a nice chocolate brown. And I'm going to take a Shop Miss A E132 brush. And I'm just going to press this to the outer corner of my eye and probably bring it into the crease. I'm going to take my NYX HD finishing powder, it's just a white powder, and I'm going to set around where I put the brown shade just so that my next transition shade blends really well. Now to blend out that brown shade, I'm taking the shade Pineapple up here, just a really pretty yellow. And I'm using a Morphe M562 brush. It's a really small, light blending brush, and I'm gonna pack that because yellows... If you use the yellow eyeshadow, you know that they tend not to be the most pigmented thing in the world, and you have to kind of build it up. So I'm trying to build that on my brush. And I'm just going to blend the edges of that brown shadow out. Okay, now that that yellow is blended out, I brought it towards the inner corner of my eye as well. I basically just blended it throughout my entire crease. And yeah, that's how we're looking right now. I'm going to take the NYX Glitter Glue, or Glitter Primer, and I'm gonna take a little bit on the back of my hand. And I'm basically going to not really cut the crease, but lay down the primer where we wanna put a glitter. So I'm using a Shop Miss A F16 brush. I desperately need to wash my brushes, like desperately, but I'm really bad at doing that. And my mom always gets on me about it, she's like, she's really good at washing her brushes, like she washes them like once a week, once every two weeks. I need to be better with that. But I'm just, I'm not really cutting the crease, I'm just kind of tapping the primer into the shape where I want it to be. It doesn't have to be too neat. And I'm basically just filling in the empty space where we didn't put any shadow. And for the glitter, I'm going to be using the shade Banana in the Glam Light Cake Palette. I don't want it to be too precise. It's looking really cut crease like right now. So I'm just gonna take the brushes that I used for the brown and for the yellow to just blend out the edges. I'll probably go back into chocolate and into pineapple and just blend those edges out so it's not too harsh.
So that is it for the eyes for now. Let's move into the base. I tried to find my favorite and most affordable products because I know some of you guys on my Instagram have said you wanted to see some more drugstore and affordable products and I can totally show you guys that too. And I also realized I don't have as many affordable things as I thought. I really like to splurge on makeup so I will definitely be trying to discover more affordable products that I can recommend and if you guys have any that you want to recommend to me please feel free to do so. So for my primer I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I absolutely love this primer. It is amazing. I'm just going to put this basically in everywhere that I have pores. And then I recently got sent some primers from Black Radiance Beauty. This one is the Hydrate and Blur Face Primer. I've tried a couple of them. I think there's four new ones and I actually really like them. So I'm just gonna put this basically everywhere else on my face. And then now for my foundation, I'm going to be using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Foundation. And I'm in the shade Mocha, I believe. Yes, I'm in the shade Mocha. I absolutely love this foundation. I've actually had it for a really long time, but I don't know, I just didn't use it that much. This foundation is a great dupe for the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation. It's super matte and has amazing coverage. So if you are more oily like me, then this foundation would be perfect for you. I'm just gonna use my Zoeva 104 buffer brush to just blend this in. This is one of my favorite foundation brushes. It just blends it in really, really nicely. And I feel this foundation is not new, but I feel like it just needs to be discussed more. Like, it has a really beautiful finish and it is really, really comparable to the NARS one but is a lot more affordable. I have the NARS one and I love it. I love NARS foundations. I also have the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation and that one is amazing too. But since I'm more oily, I love to use a more matte foundation because my skin tends to get more dewy throughout the day. So if I have a matte foundation, then I am set and I'm not looking like a grease ball. Now before I conceal, I'm going to contour. I'm going to use the Juvia's Place Shade Stick and I'm using the shade Cat Cena to contour. And I'm just using a Shop Miss AF13 brush to just blend this out. And when I blend my contour out, I blend it backwards and upwards. These shade sticks blend really, really nicely. And I have the Fenty matchsticks as well, which I really love. But I like to use those on my foundations that are not as... Um, matte because the matchsticks tend to be really matte as well and sometimes that makes it kind of hard to blend so for this type of foundation I like to use the shade sticks because I feel they're a little a little bit more creamy and the formulas just work really well together so now for my concealer I'm using the elf hydrating camo concealer in the shade deep olive and this shows up a really golden on my skin like it looks kind of like that looks kind of scary but it blends in so 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 beautifully
I've been trying to explore my concealer technique like I really like this style as well and the classic triangle shape but I'm just trying to figure out what I like best on my face this is what I've been doing recently and I have the hydrating camo concealer because the matte one just dries really really quickly and then you're not able to blend it even this one is not the most because I like to um, leave my concealer for a minute before I blend it out but even with this one the hydrating one like you can't get away with that sometimes I'm just using this elf beauty sponge to blend it all in I just really like how this concealer technique just lifts your face. Sometimes I try to be careful with this when I have more of a rounded eyeshadow shape because I don't want to mess with that, but it just it looks really nice. And as you can see, that color just blends in really nice. It doesn't look too yellow in my opinion. So yeah, let me just blend out the other side. And y'all know I usually like to use my Caucasian shade to make the under eye really really bright but I think I'm just going to go not that this look is natural in any way shape or form but I think I'm just gonna leave it for now to just be like this like this is pretty bright I would say this is pretty bright for most people but I really like mine to be like extremely bright but I'm just gonna I'll leave her alone today now to set my face, I'm going to be using the Black Radiance True Complexion Loose Setting Powder in the shade Banana. This is what it looks like. This is an old favorite of mine. I actually got this from the drugstore when I was still on campus at school because I just ran out of setting powder and I haven't used this in such a long time, but I used to really love it. So I'm just going to go in with my Juvia's Place JP001 Tapered Blending Brush. Now to bronze. I, have, I don't think I've shown this bronzer on my channel because I know it's been a minute, but this is the Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Dark. I absolutely love this bronzer. Like, I'm very much late to the party to getting this bronzer. It smells so good. That's one thing I feel like people never say in their videos is that this bronzer, it smells so good. But anyway, I'm just going to use it to bronze up my face and, on and also contour my nose. I'm using the Shop Miss A F14 brush. It's just really pigmented and really warm. I think it's just so beautiful. I think I also want to get a darker shade of this because this is not the darkest shade which is really nice because that means they have a good shade range. I want to get a darker shade for like a powder contour. But I just use this basically over where I put the contour and just to bronze up the face. Now I'm just going to go back into the Glam Light palette and I'm going to use the brown and the yellow to just smoke out my lower lash line. I also am going to put some white eyeliner into my lower lash line. This is the NYX Epic Wear Liner Stick in the shade Pure White and I'm just going to put that in my waterline. For my mascara, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara and then for my lashes, these lashes are actually from AliExpress. I got them a while ago, so I'm so sorry, but I have no idea like what they're called or anything. If I can find them, I'll leave a link in the description. Moving on, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This is in the shade Caribbean, I believe. Yeah, this is in the shade Caribbean. It's just a really pretty... Maybe I wouldn't know how to describe this. What is this? Wine. This is like a very pretty wine 
toned, berry toned blush. I don't know why I couldn't think of the word, but I'm using the AOA Studio or Shop Miss AF 14 brush. And I know a lot of people like to use liquid blushes and putty brushes like before putting on powder. But I find that this blush doesn't really disturb any of the powder that I put on. And I look and I like to put it on afterwards because I don't like to highlight my cheeks as much sometimes i do sometimes i don't but this provides a little bit of a a little bit of a sheen especially again since i have more oily skin i don't really need to put highlight on my cheeks though sometimes i like to but it doesn't really disturb the powder and i more just pat it in and it has really nice pigment so i don't have to put on too much i just put a little bit on the nose just a little bit I'm going to be using the Milani Stellar Lights Highlighter Palette and I think I'm going to go for the gold one in the middle and I'm just going to use this little pencil brush. This is the AOA Studio E124 brush and I love to just highlight my nose and recently I've also been highlighting my Cupid's bow. I think it just looks so beautiful so I'm going to highlight my nose and my Cupid's bow. I think I'll put a little bit in my inner corner or a lot <laughs> now moving on to lips I'm just gonna line them with the wet n wild color icon eyeliner I believe this is the shade Cinema brown now it doesn't everything is wiped off now because I use this one so much I think it needs to even be sharpened a little bit but I'm just gonna line my lips with that For my lipstick, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place lipstick in the shade Libra. For my gloss, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the shade Candy Kiss. And lastly, I'm just going to set my face with the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. So that is it for this spring makeup tutorial. I hope you guys love this look as much as I do. Please let me know if there's any other videos that you guys want to see. I'm thinking I want to do an updated foundation routine, base routine, so let me know if you'd want to see that or anything else that you want to see. Please also leave a comment about what you think about this look and if you are going to try it. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this video a like as well, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.